What's going on tree people? Levi Conrad here doing a couple product reviews. So this is the uh, Silky Heiuchi blade on the pole adapter for Marvin poles, Jameson poles, and um, I think that's it. Um, so I broke, I had a Silky Longboy and a Silky Heiuchi. Both were, one was dropped and one I don't even know what happened, but they stopped telescoping, and that was only after like seven, eight months. One of which was my fault, one of which um, I really don't know why it happened or, or how it happened, but uh, it did happen. I said to myself, um, I'm going back to old school, and I'm just going to get a some Marvin poles, which are pretty tough, and I'm just going to get a, an adapter for the... Uh, the Silky Heiuchi blade. So, and, it, and it's worked out pretty well. Um, definitely still kept me functioning. And uh, it's kind of nice. So with these little rivets, you can have two different angles. You can have it more down. So if you're, you know, cutting um, like directly above your head, you know, your blade will be more like this, or you can have it like it is now. So I can be standing, you know, far enough away from it and kind of saw like this. Uh, this big hook here is nice. It's it's all just pretty a, a pretty tough setup. Um, this particular blade is really nice and sharp and cuts fast on uh, kind of noodly limbs or if you're making bigger cuts sort of not near the trunk but out on limb tips. It has a tendency to kind of rattle the branch up and down more than a finer tooth saw, which um, I have a little burger telescoping saw that I use for that um, but you know for these for just like laying up pine trees and whatever it does a great job there is a, a little bit of play wiggle here which I don't like but um, at the cost of the telescoping silkies and, and having to replace those every seven eight months this is kind of the solution that I've, I've come up with here as of late um, it's nice to have this hook here on the back side unlike the long boy um, which doesn't have a hook, I can kind of advance my line or, or if I'm in a really uh, densely um, densely branched conifer tree that's a good way to just get your line into the tree to begin with. Um, yeah so this has been a good purchase but but no it's youth use don't expect to be you know on uh, making cuts you know two-thirds out on a branch because you're not going to make very accurate cut cuts and with the, the size of these teeth um, it's it's kind of it's difficult to me to get really clean cuts so I pretty much just use this on uh, limbing up um, like pine trees for instance um, next to the trunk so it does have its uses and I think like for two of these sections the adapter and the blade it was less than two hundred dollars so Really can't complain about that, and I can put my my pruning hook here on this uh, on here as well. But uh, not perfect, not a replacement for your telescoping ones, but sometimes just a more durable option for um, less precise uh, pruning operations and cuts. Thanks for watching.